Okay, so I would now like to um, perform a linear fit for that data. Now that was that was pretty straightforward in Excel. Uh, it's a little bit more involved in R, and you're probably going to wonder why we would bother to do this in R if it's so much easier in Excel. Bear with me. There are very good reasons for doing this in R, um, which will hopefully become apparent at a later date. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it with a very basic linear model. And um, to do that, um, I recommend you read this um, article here. It will give you a bit more information. Or you could just watch me do it now. Um, let's do that, right? So I'm going to go back to our studio. I'm going to create a new, a new variable. Let's resize this back to how it was. I'm going to create another new variable, I'll start a new line, and I'm going to call it uh, LM, which stands for Linear Model, and I'm going to call it uh, Weight. Okay. Now, that doesn't really mean anything, that's just the variable name that I've used. You could call it anything you like. You could call it apples or oranges, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to call it LM Weight, and I'm going to assign to that um, this function, right, which um, the function is LM, okay, that's the linear model function in R. I'm going to open up a brackets, and it's quite important in the, the order in which we do this. Um, unlike when we plot, we called the, the month first, I'm actually going to call the weight first, and I'm not going to put the data and the dollar sign in front of it, okay? Um, so that sounds a bit crazy, but bear with me a second. Um, so I'm going to call weight in kilograms. And then I'm going to put this little thing, which I think is called a tilde. Um, it's the squiggly one. And on my computer, it is above the hash. Key. It's, it's on the hash key, but I push shift and then hash. It's probably different if you're using a Mac. You might want to try and uh, spend some time finding that now. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to type in weight. Uh, sorry, time, month, okay? And then I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to write the word data equal data. Um, and I'm just going to ask you to have faith and press control and enter. Okay? Now, what has that done? It doesn't look like it's done a whole lot, but it has done something. Um, and you can see this LM weight now has appeared in your variables. If I click on that, nothing really happens. I get a load of gobbledygook, um, which doesn't really mean a lot until I actually call that up again. So if I just type LM weight here, so if I call the variable I've just defined, and I press Control and Enter, there you go. I actually get my, um, that's my intercept, and that's my gradient. So. If this was y equals mx plus c, this is the c, and this is the m, okay? I can get even more information on this if I type summary, and then wait, control and enter, I get loads more information. Look at this. I've got um, the formula, which is telling me that there's a linear relationship between weight and month, and um, I've got all this stuff about residuals. Now, I'm not going to worry you too much about what residuals are. You can worry about that next year. Uh, if you wish to read the article, which is uh, a link in the workshop, that will tell you a bit about res residuals. Um, the important one is the coefficients. Um, so I've got um, my intercept value and my time in months um, here, okay? Which is great. Um, so the time month one is actually the gradient. That's my m value there. Okay. I've also got um, an r squared, which is telling me how good that fit is, and the higher that value is, the better the fit. But the and higher, the, sorry, the closer that value is to one, the better the fit. And it's nearly one. Look, that's pretty good. You'll get that value on Excel as well. Um, and there you go. Was that all I had to do for this one? Let's have a look. Yeah. So I've extracted M and C for that model. Okay, so I could reuse M and C to calculate 
the weight at 30 or estimate the, the weight at 37 months if I wanted to. Uh, okay, let's stop it there.